It's a boycott over pot as a national advocacy group takes aim at the world's largest retailer. It's a story you Channel 3 was first to report. Walmart has already faced down protests over the firing of Joseph Cassius, a 29-year-old who says he uses medical marijuana and also says that's what got him dismissed from his job at the Walmart store in Battle Creek. News Channel 3 has learned that a group which is calling for reform on marijuana laws is urging its members to stay away from Walmart stores. Runchy Sinha spoke with a representative from that group. He joins us live with more. Runchy. Well, Judy, it's called the Marijuana Policy Project and the MPP says it has 124,000 members and now the group is telling those members and affiliates to boycott Walmart over the firing of Joseph Cassius. News Channel 3 was the first station to talk to Joseph Casillas after he was fired, and we've continued to follow the story even when Walmart started facing down protests. Well, apparently the MPP has also been following the case and the protests, and it is asking shoppers to demand that Walmart change its marijuana policies so that it doesn't discriminate against people that are legally allowed to use medical marijuana under state law. We're hoping by drawing attention to this, we can also highlight the plight of medical marijuana patients in these 14 states that have to deal with this, uh, this unfortunate circumstance of operating in a potential legal gray area where their employers think it's okay to fire them simply for using a safe, legal, and effective medicine. Now, the Marijuana Policy Project also says that Cassius firing violates the Michigan Medical Marijuana Act. They also say that Walmart is contesting Cassius' unemployment benefits. Now, we spoke to Walmart when our original story on Cassius ran, and the retailer did say that in a state such as Michigan, an employer can still enforce a policy that ends with termination after an employee has had a positive drug screening test. Reporting live, Ranji Sinha, News Channel 3.